Formed as a result of the collapse of huge stars, black holes are entities in the intricate fabric of space-time so deep that not even a ray of light can escape them. The center of a black hole is what physicists refer to as singularity. It is a one-dimensional point where all forms of enormous matter are crushed down into an infinitely small place. It is a dark black place where you and I can never exist, a place where gravity and density become infinite, space-time bends infinitely, and all physics laws known to mankind cease to exist. A prominent American physicist explains it to be the point where all laws of physics break down. Its existence, however, is only theoretical and has not yet been proven. So what are some of the other ideas that could replace the theory of singularity? Well, this is what we'll find out in this video. Hello and welcome to Beyond Unknown. Today in this episode, we'll be talking about all the possible ideas that seem to explain to us what is really going on inside the black hole. If you're interested to find out, then stick around till the end of this video, and while you're at it, don't forget to press that big thumbs up button. Now without any further ado, let's get right into it. Before we get into all the details, let's talk about black holes for a minute. According to NASA, it is described as a place in space where gravity pulls so much that even light cannot get out. The gravity is so strong because matter has been squeezed into a tiny space. But why does it appear black? That's because, like all other forms of matter, light gets completely sucked into it and is unable to escape, and so that gives it a dark black look. Even though they are visualized as big, black celestial bodies, it is actually not possible to observe them directly using telescopes that rely on electromagnetic radiation. A bit of lateral thinking is required to detect them in space, and a way to do that is by looking for any gravitational disturbances felt by its neighboring objects. Another important aspect of a black hole that we'll be discussing frequently in this episode is the event horizon. Event horizons, considered to be the literal point of no return, are the outermost boundary of a black hole. This is the area of a black hole where gravitational pull exceeds the light's ability to escape from the gravitational force of the black hole. This means that for an object to escape from the event horizon, it must be going faster than the speed of light. Planck star Now the very first possibility we'll be looking at today is a Planck star. If that were true, we would find that deep inside a black hole, matter would exist in the smallest possible configuration, the tiniest particle of volume. This is contrary to singularity, where matter is squeezed down to almost nothing. A Planck star is a hypothetical space object under the loop quantum gravity theory. In this theory, Planck star is thought to be a compact alien star that is present within a black hole's event horizon, and is formed when an imploding star's energy density reaches the Planck energy density. Planck density is the Planck mass, thought to be the smallest possible black hole, divided by the Planck volume. This is Planck length cubed, 4.22 times 10 to the 105th cubic meters, or approximately 5.1 by 10 to the 96th grams per centimeters cubed. A Planck star contains matter crushed down to the smallest possible scale, the Planck length. If a Planck star were present within a black hole, the matter inside it would not be compressed infinitely but instead would occupy the tiniest amount of volume. This would negate the tricky concept of singularity altogether. But what is Planck length? Well, explaining it simply, it is the smallest possible unit of measurement. This length is so tiny that it is about a trillion times less the size of a proton, which is the smallest particle known to mankind. So it is very, very small. Since Planck star is not a singularity, it eliminates the possibility of a black hole containing an event horizon because the gravitational pull will not be more than the speed of light. Nonetheless, the gravitational pull would still be so intense to outside viewers that it would still act and look like an event horizon. Gravistar Another concept that replaces the singularity is called Gravistar. Much like Planck star, which is a quantum gravity theory that hasn't even been tested yet, Gravistar isn't much popular among the folks either and is a very new idea. Among other things, what sets Gravistar apart from a black hole is that instead of a singularity, Gravistar contains dark energy. Dark energy is an entity that penetrates through space-time, causing it to expand outward, and even though it may sound like something you see in a sci-fi movie or a fiction novel, it is as real as you and I. Currently, we can visualize dark energy in the larger cosmos, forcing our entire universe to speed up in its expansion. Because of the presence of all the dark energy on its periphery, matter falling into a gravistar isn't actually able to pass through the event horizon, and sort of just hangs around on the surface. However, to an outside observer, Gravistars behave and look like an average black hole. It is sad to say, though, that the recent tests that merge black holes with gravitational wave detectors have ruled out the possible existence of Gravistars, simply because of the difference in signals received if we were to merge Gravistars together instead. Observatories like LIGO and Virgo keep receiving an increasing number of examples with each passing day. 
Since some of you might be disappointed, it is important to mention that while gravistars may not serve as a substitute for black holes, they very much exist inside our universe. Let's apply a different approach. While Planck stars and gravistars sound like every sci-fi fan's fantasy, it is a fact that their existence is still very much in doubt. But maybe a more tedious explanation can be true to explain black holes and singularity, an explanation that has a much more realistic approach, even though it may sound extremely boring to some folks. It is the concepts of immobile, non-rotating, uncharged, and really dull black holes that put forth the idea of a single point of infinite density. The actual black holes, especially when they spin, are much more interesting objects. The singularity is stretched into the form of a ring by the rotation of black holes, and applying the only relevant equation we know of, that being Einstein's theory of general relativity, once you enter the ring of singularity, you enter a wormhole and make your exit through a white hole, which is the polar opposite of a black hole, and where no matter can enter and sprints out at the speed of light. Now through this passage you can enter an exciting new realm of the unknown, a place unexplored by any and all forms of life. There is a catch though, the inside of a spinning black hole is unbelievably unstable, an idea extracted from the very same equation that led us to the possible existence of traveling to an unknown alien world. The complication with spinning black holes is that, well, they're spinning. The singularity in the form of a ring would spin at such an incredible pace that it would generate a tremendous amount of centrifugal force. This fantastic amount of centrifugal force, according to general relativity, will be so strong that it will act as anti-gravity, so instead of sucking in objects, it will repel them. This phenomenon stretches out a boundary or a wall inside the black hole called the inner horizon. Outside this boundary, we see that radiation falls inward into the singularity, owing to the extreme gravitational effect. However, the radiation is repelled by the anti-gravity proximal to the ring singularity and the return point is the inner horizon. If you were brave enough to see the inner horizon for yourself, you would face a boundary of infinitely magnificent radiation, and the entire past history of space will flash right across your eyes in less than a blink. This formation of an inner horizon, while interesting, can be paradoxical, because its presence will someday entail the collapse of the black hole in itself. But spinning black holes are certainly present inside the universe, so that would mean that we've either got the equation wrong or something funny is going on. So to conclude it all together, what is really present within the black hole? The answer is that we're not entirely sure, but what scares me more is the possibility that we may never be able to find out. Well, this is it for today's video, guys. We hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share this video with your fellow astronomy nerds. What do you think lies inside the heart of a black hole? Is it a place where all forms of life cease to exist, or is it a portal to another far-off, unimaginable land? Share with us your thoughts in the comment section down below. And until we see you in our next video, take care and goodbye.